What's up everyone? Welcome to level number three of our flex program. This is day number one, full body workout. We've got upper body, lower body, and core work today. Just a little bit of ab burnout at the end, but as for our training variables this week, supersets of the same muscle or muscle group. So you'll notice we have upper body, then lower body, then upper body, then lower body, all grouped together. 45 second rounds will continue this week, but a little bit more fatigue. We're gonna continue to incorporate those lengthened partials, those pause reps, and then of course, upping our weight if we are able. I'm telling you, this is a good one. Let's go ahead and grab your water, your sweat towel, your bench, and your dumbbells, and I'll see you in the workout. All right, let's reach it out forward and sit and stand. So proud of you for showing up today. We're rocking into level three supersets of the same muscle group this week. So be expecting to experience the burn, pushing through to failure, which might happen a little sooner than it did in level two, which is totally fine, okay? It's okay if you need to drop down, but don't drop down until you need to. All right, heels to glutes, let's go. The mind over matter association this week is huge. Make sure you're not just getting through the workout, you show up and every three round superset, you give it your all. Then we rest, shake it out, do it again. Today we have four of those. Then we'll close it out with a little core work. Twist, twist, twist. So four times, you're getting to your max. Good job, hands on your hips, reach back and stand. One more, good job. Cross your arms over your chest. We're gonna start off with an upper body superset, then lower, then upper, then lower, then abs. If you have a yoga block, that will be in your very first lower body circuit. All right, reach over, over. Bring some good energy into this workout. Okay, just about 17 seconds. We're starting with chest fly to skull crusher. All right, get yourself set up. If you've got a bench, pull it out. If you're headed to the floor, go ahead and go down. We go in five. Ready. Let's go. Nice work. Feel the stretch in both your chest and your triceps. Four, good job, last one. And rest. All right, rolling it up. You've got seated, alternating, Arnold press. Okay, one arm stays up top. All right, so we start here. Two, one, let's go. Down and up. Good, so there's an active component in the shoulder exercise today. Good work. Focus on your stabilizers, the ones that are holding the other dumbbell up top. Last one, three. Rest. All right. Round number two. Same thing, those two exercises. If you can go up and wait, let's do it. I'm gonna go with you. If you need to stay right there, stay there. Lengthen slowly. Let's go. <sighs> 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 
Good job. Second half. Almost there. Seven. Two. Great job. All right. Let's go up if you can. One arm active, alternating Arnold press. All right, ready? Two. Here we go. Great work. The control, when you bring it down, is everything, right? Thirteen. Two. Rest. Whew. Round three, we're already there, let's go. Fly, fly, fly. Ready, two, one, open it up. Arms are feeling it, right? You got a lot of blood flow happening right now in your upper body. You gotta push through. If you wanna feel this a little bit more, open nice and slow, and then drive back. Nice work, 15. Come on, I need you to get there. Keep moving, powerful pull. Three. Rest. All right, Arnold press, round three. Go up if you can, okay? Ready, three, two, one. Come on, your arms will rest in just a second, so give me everything right here. Twenty-two. Second half, right here, go for it. Come on, shoulders, 10. Four. And breathe. All right, level three. We're going to Romanian deadlifts and then a heel lifted squat for your next superset. Bench can be out of the way. Deadlifts are first. A little bend in the knee. Hinge and stand. Seven. Two. Let's get it. Lengthen slow. Down, down, down. Squeeze. There's no forward hip push, it's a glute squeeze. Lifted. Squats. I want you to take two dumbbells this time. Okay, down by your sides. Keep your back strong. Nobody's leaning over. We're here. Ready? Let's go.
10. Two. Rest. Great job. We're back to deadlifts. Come on, lower body. We're working hard here. Two, one. Feel that stretch. Please don't let your ribs reach for the floor. Okay, muscle fatigue can get you to do a lot of weird things with your technique. You get here and your ribs start flaring down. It's a lot of pressure on your spine. Neutral, okay? Just think of your ribs as protecting your spine. Two, great job. If you can connect with ribs and hips, protecting your spine, it's really, really beneficial. Especially when we do supersets like this. Let's go. Press the floor away. You're doing great. 15. Press, seven. Rest. Okay. Last round of both. Show me what you got here. I know your grip is tired. Give me what you got. Ready, let's get it. Don't let your ribs reach for the floor. They're holding onto your spine. Good job. Come on, it's okay if you need to take a shake out. You just jump right back in. Let's go, get there, seven. Two. Oh, great work. And let's finish it out right here. Heel lifted. Feel free to incorporate a little pause at the bottom if you want to. Let's go. When you get out of that pause, it's all power. Chest comes up first, not your butt. 15, let's go. Four. Two, one, and rest for 30. Let's go, keep it rolling. We've got alternating rows and then kneeling hammer curls. All right, I'm gonna use my bench. If you have one, you wanna use it. Go ahead and pull it out. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s. Round one, ready. Big pull, let's go. Right before you go, can you make sure your ribs and your core are tight? Okay, no rotating, all right, no rounding. Oh. 
12. Two. Good job. Now, potentially the same weights, but maybe just a weight lighter. Kneeling, hammer curls, okay? Just taking the momentum out of it. Two, one, come on. Try not to think about squeezing your dumbbell as tight as you can. And just think more about bringing this top part of your hand up so the elbow is flexed. That's the only thing you have to think about. Close your elbow with power. Two. Great work. All right, up if you can. If you don't have heavier weights, pause, then lower, pause, then lower. Let's go. Two, one, big pull. Come on, this workout is one where you have to give your everything now. Don't wait. Like I told you, you have four little mini workouts, okay? We're already in number three. So you gotta go now. Seven. That's it, rest. All right, maybe heavier for your hammer curls. Leave it up to you. I just want great technique. Okay. Three. Let's go. Good job. Okay, up if you are able. All right, ready? Last one. Let's go. Get close to failure right now. This should be tough because you're working hard. You're here to get stronger. Do not doubt that in the way that you're working. Prove it to yourself. Good job, nine. Go for it, don't stop, don't stop. Two more big pulls, three. Rest. Good work, hammer curls, let's close it out. Three, let's go. All the way up, come on. 
You're almost done with upper body for the day. Let's get it. Come on, get close to failure and then get there and then embrace it. Two. Rest. Great work. Proud of you for that one. Let's move on. Whew. We're gonna add a little deficit to our reverse lunges. Left leg is exercise one, right leg is exercise two. So you can be done with a bench, unless you would rather do Bulgarian split squats. That's up to you, okay? The deficit is your front leg, back leg goes back, touches the floor, and stand up. Let's go. If you're not able to do a deficit lunge and touch the floor, just give me a regular lunge and work on getting down so this stretch is enough to touch the floor, okay? Whoop. And don't step on the edge. <laughs> Good job, sink low. All the power's from the front. Three, two, one, good job. All right, other leg is exercise two. All right, ready? Two, one, let's go. Should feel a nice stretch at the bottom. You can hold an opposite hand or same side as your front leg hand. Good work. 12. Four. Rest. All right. Now the trick here for progressive overload, yes, you can go up in weights, but also spend a little more time in the bottom. Lengthen partials. Let's go. And if you're doing lengthened partials, you tap your knee twice. Great job. Nine. Three. Rest. Oh, that quad burn. Yep. Good job. Breathe deep, get low. Three, two, come on. Yes, come on. Believe in yourself here. Ten. Two. Rest. We've got one more round. Just think, yes I can, yes I can. That's all you gotta remember, I can do this. Round three, let's get it. This is all you. And if you went up, amazing. Spend more time 
in the bottom, no matter what. Let's go, last time on this leg. I know everything's tired, but I know you're strong. We're about to tap into core work. Seven, come on. Rest. You still with me? Okay, I know you are. I'm so thankful that you are. Last round, ready? You and me, three. Let's get it. Now make sure you don't start compromising your form, okay? If your butt drops and then it lifts up first, that's compromise. Chest and hips go down and up together. Come on, 15, let's go. Four. Oh, rest. That was tough. You're incredible. Grab your sweat towel. Straight arm sit-ups. Three rounds, 45 seconds. All right, let's go. 12 seconds. All you got here. Three, let's go. I want you to dig your heels down into the floor. Push diagonally and then shoot your head through your arms. If you're not using a weight right now, arms are here, you can have a little swing and then end up here. I'm telling you, the more you dig your heels down, the harder it is to use your hip flexors. Just your abs will be doing the work. Three. Rest, 15 seconds, heavier if you can. This is it, we've got three rounds of this one and we're done for the day. So go up. In difficulty, in time that you're crunching. Come on. How do you do a lengthened partial in your core? Hanging out here, then up. Okay, it's kind of like the bottom half. Come on. Two, one. All right, now I really want you to test yourself here. Let's go. Ambitious weight. Drop it when you fail, okay? But not until then. Last round, three, two. Let's go. <sighs> Second half, you gotta go. Push your heels down. You got 10. One more. Three. And rest. Stay here. Flip over onto your stomach. Amazing job. We made it. You did it. Level three, day one. Come on. You knew you could do it. 
<sighs> Great work. Now by and now, you're used to these training variables. You're used to me telling you length and partial, and you know how to get into that, okay? Now we're adding in supersets of the same muscle area, same muscle group or the same muscle. With all the training variables that we've learned, now we're adding in just a bit more fatigue, resistance, blood flow to that area. Good, left leg up. So we're continuing to progress the challenge. You showing up today and doing your best, that's you accepting the challenge. Continue to believe in your ability to see progress. No matter how advanced you are, no matter how much you think, man, I wish these workouts were a little easier. The objective is not to make you feel like everything's easy or to make you feel like everything's extremely hard. The objective is to show you that you can do hard things. Get that belief in yourself, get that confidence up, flex your confidence muscle, and then you keep showing up and stepping up to more challenges. And then eventually, you'll see that across your life, not just in your workouts. Both legs straight, hips up in the air. If I can push you to do anything this week, flex your confidence muscle. Okay, I don't mean to make that sound super cheesy. It's also just a belief in your ability to not quit. It's a belief in your ability to not make excuses and validate them in yourself. Okay, heel toe your way in until your feet are both under your hips. Hang out right here. It's different for everyone. Whatever you wanna call it, confidence, belief in yourself, the fact that you deserve this, or just you not believing your own excuses that sometimes can get in the way of your consistency. All of that, I want you to flex that this week, okay? I don't want you to even doubt that you deserve that because you do, and maybe you need to just continue to show up so you start to believe in that. But the confidence in yourself is the ability to say, hey, this might be harder than another day, but I'm still gonna do it. This might not feel as easy as it did the other day, but I'm still gonna do it, okay? It might not be popular that I'm eating food that I cooked at home, but I'm still gonna do it. It may not be what I wanna do at the end of the night when I get home because I'm tired to cook all the food that I have in the fridge or to eat what I have in the fridge, but I'm still gonna do it. That's you showing up, that's you displaying your own confidence, your own belief in yourself. So let's rock into this week showing that, believing that, and keep rolling, and I will see you back here for our next workout. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is your first workout with me. Thank you for training with me today. I'll see you back here tomorrow.